Hi, I'm Pete, and this is an Amazon.com unboxing. That's right, I went puzzle shopping on Amazon USA. So, um, there, there is a, an explanation for this, a long-winded explanation. Basically, um, the, the entire shipment, it was one order, but it shipped in two different packages. So while I'm unpackaging or unboxing this one, I'll explain. So uh, this started with a Tony Fisher video, uh, his Four Corners Cube video. Uh, tear, tear a perforation to open. Oh, okay. I guess I'm not supposed to do this. Okay, we're breaking the law here, the international law. So anyway, Tony Fisher was unboxing his Four Corners Cube, but he pulled out a puzzle um, that was uh, not the Four Corners Cube at the beginning. And he said, oh yeah, I'm just going to use this for parts and just put it aside. Well, that was a really interesting looking puzzle. So I decided to, to try and find it. So I did. And here it is. Woo. This is a version of it anyway. No other tape work. Um, so there it is. So that is the Rotate and Slide Puzzle. Now, the one that uh, Tony unboxes, I think seven layers, and they come in all sorts of different layers and whatever, but I couldn't find it uh, on all my usual puzzle spots. And in particular, it, it wasn't on Amazon Canada. So, uh, I, but I did find it on Amazon.com. Well, let's take a look at this puzzle. Uh, and they have different sets. So this is a set where it's... Uh, what is it? I think it's a four layer. Yeah, it's a four layer and I think an eight layer. Okay, so um, they also sell odd order uh, variants of it. So if I like it, I might get this uh, as well or I get the next one. So uh, yeah, uh, it, you know, it was an interesting looking puzzle, but I just couldn't find it anywhere else. Having said that, I wasn't just going to order a... Uh, one you know relatively inexpensive puzzle from all the way from the United States so that's how this other puzzle came uh, to be part of this anyway here we go rotate and slide puzzle I don't even know who this is by okay so it's made in China okay they've they've put a label over it so I can't really uh, see um, what can you do with a little space so it looks a little bit like a magic square puzzle now um, when you're uh, considering these types of puzzles, this is probably not a particularly hard puzzle. Um, so yeah, so when you're looking at uh, the types of puzzles I get, keep in mind that, it, you know, I don't always want to put my brain in a vice, you know, when I'm solving a puzzle. Sometimes I like easy puzzles. Also, I work with kids and uh, I, I love using puzzles because they just, they, they love um, playing with puzzles. So uh, when I'm working with kids, I sometimes use that as a kind of a hook right? They introduce me as the math guy, everyone hates me, and then I show them a puzzle, and then they say, well, maybe he's not so bad. All right, well, I've started to uh, undo the, the, the seals on this. This is, uh, this is, first of all, the packaging, a lot better than expected for, I think this was 11 US dollars, uh, which is just like a big Mac meal, I guess, if you, you know. Okay, so uh, it says, not suitable for children under three years, small parts, a warning, no babies, uh, uh, some words in, and probably looks to me like Arabic, hard to say, country of origin, China, okay, test according to international standards, and then, okay, so it looks like they sell all sorts of different variants, and this is, this is one of them, but I have seen kits where they have three of them, kits where they have different ones, uh, I don't know why I ended up with this one in particular, I, I'm not really sure, the other uh, thing uh, that I noticed was um, they, they, some of them, you have to be careful because this was said it was in stock. Some of them said it was, you know, shipping in like three months. Okay, so it's a rotating and sliding puzzle. It uses an empty space created by a missing beaver. Anyway, uh, I'll let you read that if you want. You can freeze the tape there. Okay. All right, well, I think we've sort of beaten that box to... Uh, pieces here. Let's just have a look at this. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. That's the outer box. And so here are these little cool puzzles. Okay, well, all right. They're very small. Oh, and that, and that's what you get. Well, let's, let's try the baby one. That looks so cool. So let's see. Okay, obviously the beads slide up and down, but do they rotate? They do. Ooh, and a satisfying click as well. 
Wow, that is, well, well, that's going to be a fun puzzle, I think. So you can, yeah, you can sort of mix it up and holy smokes, I don't want to scramble this thing. Okay, and then of course you have to remember what one is is the short. Well, well, that is is really really cool. I think that's maybe going to be. I mean, it's not going to be a trivial challenge. I don't think. But it's certainly not the big one. That's a lot of beads. I'm also wondering if it's possible to get some weird parodies with the odd order ones. I don't know if the even ones. Okay, so yeah, so each individual layer turns. And then, and then the uh, beads go up and down. And so you would use it to, yeah, you'd use the hole to move the pieces around. Okay, I may have just made a tactical mistake here. <laughs> this is, maybe I shouldn't have done that, what I just did. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. This is, this is really neat. So this is, um, first of all, everything that I, I, I was hoping it would be. And uh, the, the quality is, is, I think, maybe a little better. Than, uh, than, than what I expected. Okay, so uh, rotate and slide. So this is called the rotate and slide puzzle. I don't know who makes it. I know you can get them on Amazon.com. Um, and and they, they seem really neat. So I'm looking forward to trying to solve them. And I'm really looking forward to maybe letting some kids try them. Now, they, how delicate, how well they might hold up, that would be uh, maybe another question. But anyway, it's, uh, you know, I could always have a, a set of them or something like that. Okay, so that was the first puzzle that I saw, but as I said, I wasn't going to just do an order from Amazon.com or Amazon USA just for that one rel relatively inexpensive puzzle. So uh, I ordered, uh, I saw online, one of my online uh, uh, friends posted a, a video of a, an interesting looking puzzle, and it turns out he also got it from Amazon uh, USA, so I thought, okay, well now I have something. So I went and I ordered it, and um, and and then they they just they shipped in separate uh, shipments, which I didn't expect. So that's a little unfortunate. Uh, but it shipped really really fast. And what I didn't realize, I've recently gotten a subscription to Amazon Prime here in Canada, and I didn't realize that they would sort of carry that over to Amazon USA. So I got expedited shipping, which is which was really kind of. Kind of a welcome surprise. Okay, so so this is the other one I got, and really okay, and some paperwork which we'll look at later. And there we go. So that's it. Empty box, and there's the puzzle. Okay, there we are. So this is called the True Challenge. Okay. And it says magnetic puzzle spin to solve. And it says from the makers of True Balance. So it says the first magnetic puzzle using the principle of attraction repulsion of magnets. Um, every turn is unique. So and then it has a little STEM logo on there. Science, uh, technology, engineering, mathematics. I don't know. It, it's very popular. I've noticed when I go into uh, toy stores to, to slap STEM on stuff. Um, you know, I, I don't know, unless there's a, an actual scientific uh, principle you're going to learn from this, I would I take that with a grain of salt. Uh, so it says, scramble your true challenge by turning the uh, segmented uh, middle as well as turning it on its axis. So, oh yeah, it has a split on top. So it, it's sort of split, not quite a two by two, but something like that. And it has these little magnets in here. And... Um, Time yourself to compete against friends. Okay. And then, warning, discontinue use and discard immediately if the magnets are separated from the production. Yeah, I would say so. If your cat starts uh, chewing on this and dislodges a magnet. Oh, well, here's the big warning here. It basically, I think I can sort of summarize this by saying, if you eat these magnets, uh, it's not going to be good for you. Okay, so... Now, here's where I had to do the research. It says, inventor of the puzzle, Ilya Ozipov. So, oh, it, it actually, they give credit to the inventor right here. Now, the reason I had to do some research on this is that Oscar Van Deventer um, has a video uh, called the, uh, the Tokamak. 
uh, where he had uh, taken a puzzle by uh, Ilya Ozipov uh, called the Ozzy, the Ozzel A2, and he had re-engineered it uh, as the Tokamak, just made some changes to it, and, uh, and made it uh, quite an interesting puzzle. So I wasn't 100% sure whether this was a knockoff or not. That's, that's what it really came down to. But based on my research, it does seem that uh, the inventor must be involved in this. Uh, that would be Ilya. And so basically, he gave Oscar permission to make a variant of the puzzle. And also, he must have given these, these true challenge people. No, the true, yeah, the true challenge people or whatever, whoever they are. Um, yeah, kind of hard to say uh, who they are. Um, all right, well, let's get this open, and it's uh, one of these clamshell packaging, so I'm going to try, you might want to look away, because I'm going to try to open this without injuring myself, and also, I might have to damage the packaging. So, uh, yeah, it, 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 once I open, I hope I'll be able to demonstrate why I was so keen on this puzzle. Um, again, it, it, I don't know how difficult it's going to be. But it has some properties that I, I really kind of like. Okay. Okay, well that worked. Sort of. Okay. Okay. Now, you know, I could just, I could just cut away from this part and pretend like I'm good at opening boxes. But, you know what? I, I want to show every everything when I'm doing these unboxings. So unboxings. Also, you notice that even though I got two different boxes, uh, I did one video, right? Unlike other YouTubers who would have milked it for all it's worth. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's, there was nothing really in there. I thought it might be some extra information. Okay, I'm not sure. I think that that may have gotten me a little ways here. Okay. Okay, I, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put my knife aside now, and I'm gonna try to the old-fashioned way. Of, of just kind of there you go very good okay packaging has done its job we don't need the packaging let's put the knife away before anybody gets hurt and there we go so this is the true challenge and it's a magnetic puzzle okay and I think yeah oh I guess I got to figure out what I'm supposed to do with it yeah, I guess that would be helpful if I knew what the, what the actual. Okay, so it goes like that. And it goes like that. Oh, wait. How is this? Okay, so I think I got to turn just the, the rings themselves. Okay, we'll, we'll get this. Okay, well that's, uh, that's interesting. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, so there, that's what really got me interested in this puzzle. That sound that it makes, it's really, I don't know, it's fascinating. Okay, so this kind of looks like they're all okay. Looks like they're all attracted to each other now. That may be the solved state. I'm not 100% sure. I guess I should have read the instructions a bit before I, I did anything. Um, yeah. I think that that is probably going to be the case. Now, somebody uh, online asked if you can change the, uh, the magnets. Like, change them so that... Maybe they, they have a different sequence. Maybe some of them are repulsing when it's in a solved state. And I think you might be able to. It's sort of, I mean, 
I think it might be possible to take that cap off and change some of these magnets. I'd want to be careful I didn't break any of these little, uh, the, the, like break the edges where they're contained because otherwise the magnets will come out. But anyway, this is, uh, so as you're turning it, it just makes this very satisfying noise. Um, satisfying to me as the player, probably annoying to parents and spouses all over the place, partners. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I got to figure out what I'm supposed to do. I'll go uh, check those. Uh, oh, okay. So yeah, so some of them are, are repulsing now. Um, I guess I'll go check the uh, instructions to see what the... Uh, okay, I'm going to go check the instructions. Now, now I'm going to gonna cut the tape. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. And uh, okay, now I know what I'm supposed to do. Indeed, it says uh, spin the segments with all the colors matching up and the magnets are attracting to win. Okay, so so indeed, I basically, that was the solve. So that's the solve right there. So it was, um, they're all attracting. Now that's a little different from the way Oscar Van Deventer had the tokamak puzzle configured. And I think that's probably it. Just, it adds a bit more of a, a challenge. So uh, the question was, can you take these out and, and rearrange them? I think it might be possible, which, and if that's the case, then uh, we'll, uh, you know, it might give it a little bit more uh, play value, but it is a kind of a, a cool toy. And uh, it's going to be, you know, not a super hard puzzle, but certainly, certainly interesting enough. All right. Well, that's it for my Amazon USA unboxing. I have my True Challenge Magnetic Puzzle. It's going to be a, a lot of fun and rather noisy, clicky fun to solve that. And I have my uh, rotate and slide uh, set and uh, just going to enjoy uh, solving those. So uh, as always, I appreciate your comments, your questions, your suggestions. In particular, let me know um, if there's a puzzle you think I should uh, look at on my channel. And uh, any other uh, feedback uh, uh, you leave, I appreciate it. All right. Well, that's it for me. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is a little bonus content for the rotate and slide puzzles. So uh, as I was uh, tossing a box out, I found that I'd missed a little uh, instruction card inside the uh, box. And uh, it actually explains the whole detail, how it works, um, how to play, and then it gives uh, some kind of solution here. I, I, you know, I guess I read through it. Um, actually, um, yeah, oh, that's that's interesting. Um, so that's that's basically it. And then it actually gives another, some other suggested uh, solutions, which I I think is that's kind of cool. Um, we also. Um, we also see that it's made by RY Toys, which uh, I, I think, I don't know, that, that may mean something to uh, someone out there. I'd be curious to know some some more information. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so uh, all in all, um, even though this was a very inexpensive uh, set, and, and all of our sets are pretty inexpensive, uh, it's really a high quality um, production, right? The, the packaging is really top notch. You, you get, uh, this, you know, the insert. Uh, and I, I also felt that the quality of the, the actual puzzle was, was interesting. So anyway, that's the bonus content. I just wanted to, to show that, that there was a little extra something in the box. And well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Pete. And this is an Amazon.com unboxing. Now, this whole thing is really, really strange. First of all, um, Amazon.com, or as we would call it here in Canada, Amazon USA, uh, to, to distinguish it from Amazon, which is Amazon Canada, Amazon.ca. So that's the one of the unusual things. I went shopping in, in Amazon United States, and of course, the other thing is it's uh, puzzles, which you don't normally associate uh, getting from Amazon. But uh, here we go. And notice there are two packages. So uh, what I'm going to explain this is that this is one order that came in two separate packages. But 
Unlike other YouTubers, I'm not going to serve you up two different videos for one order. That's just not right, man. So I'm just giving you both unboxings in the same video. All right. Well, uh, I'm just going to uh, sort of get started here and then I'll explain how this very strange thing happened. So what happened was I was watching a Tony Fisher video called the Four Corners Cube. I think that's what it was about. And he opens a box and there's this really interesting looking puzzle. And he takes it out. He says, yeah, I'm going to use this for parts and just puts it aside. Really? So, and then he went on to show the Four Corners Cube, which is great. Uh, but, uh, man, he just, he, it wasn't even on screen for 30 seconds. So anyway, I thought, well, I'd like to get that puzzle. The problem is I didn't find it anywhere. So... Uh, I decided to, well, I found it on Amazon.com, but, you know, I'm not going to get an order from, in, you know, the United States for like an $11 puzzle or whatever it was. But then a few days later, somebody showed me a, uh, I put a, a picture of a, an interesting looking puzzle uh, that was uh, also on Amazon.com. And I thought, well, okay, I'll get the two of them. And that'll be be the whole thing. So that's the explanation for how I ended up with the, these two puzzles from Amazon.com. Okay, that was the longest winded explanation I've ever, ever had. Okay, here we go. Uh, 